Hi guys, very good evening. Today we are going to cover point of no return. There are too many drivers, they fail their driving test at the traffic lights. What they do when they see traffic light is green for some times and they go too close to the traffic light and traffic light change to amber. As soon as you are too close to the traffic light, traffic light change to amber, then they try to stop straight away. So if you stop there, that can be dangerous for driver behind. So what you need to do, you carry on, don't stop. That is known as a point of no return. Although it's not easy to assess, but the reference point for you is, for example, there's traffic light coming. I can see from here about 200, 300 yards at the moment. I can see traffic light is red. So I am, I am in between. Either it may change. So at is it changed now. So what it's changed. So when I go close, it may change again. So I need to be ready. Either I'm going or either I'm not going. So at the moment, traffic light is still green. So I'm going. When I'm coming somewhere here and it's to try to change the traffic light, then I'm not stopping. You understand what I mean? When you're too close and you think it's amber and then you just can look upward. If you're looking upward, it's mean you have not much time to stop. Then don't stop, then carry on. That's point of no return. But if you can see traffic light from your driving seat far ahead is changing you got reasonable time to stop, then you have to stop. You will not try to foot down, go fast to take the traffic light. No, you will not do that. If you do that, you will fail your test. But if you stop on a point of no return, even then you will fail your test. I will try to drive a little bit more in case if there's any situation I can create, I will show you. Otherwise, I will keep explaining you. Now this is pedestrian crossing so I don't bother, it won't change because there's nobody and they are puffing crossing as well. So puffing crossing means they got a little sensor on top. If there is any pedestrian on the pedestrian crossing, they don't change. Okay, so I can see traffic light is changing again so it's mean we have to stop there. So I'm easing off the gas, I will let my car roll and then I stop nicely. First gear, handbrake and I will wait. I will not recommend you handbrake if it is not too long. But this traffic light will take too long because we just came and it's changed. And it's four ways as well. Okay, so changing now. So we are proceeding. Going left here. So let me check another traffic light if we can see. Okay, so I can see about 500 yards traffic light is red, so that can be changed by then. So there's somebody in my lane, so I need to check mirrors, move over to the right hand lane to overtake these cars. So I can see traffic lights change again, it's red. About five, 600 yards you can see far ahead. I am waiting for the moment to explain you. So after this last park car, I'm gonna check sand in the left mirror. I will touch indicator and I will come back in my lane. That's it, traffic lights change again. So I'm turning left at the light, so checking sand on the left mirror, indicator left, drop in my car to second gear. It's still green. If it change here, I'm not stopping. See, it's just changed, I didn't stop because that was point of no return. If I would stop that point, I would have failed my test. I hope you understand. That was the best example, I think.